I rarely dedicate an entire video to one car, but I'm going to do that today. And I am doing it kind of on a whim because this arrived today and I finally have it in hand. We have talked about this casting for, I think, going on two plus years. And the finished version is finally here. Now with an asterisk, because we've already seen this casting before, but the RLC is finally here. The 1993 Ford Mustang Cobra R designed by Brendan Vitesky of the Hot Wheels design team who does all of the new RLC castings. And uh, boy, has there been high anticipation for this one. You better believe there has. And so I just wanna open it and I feel like I should open it on video. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's why I am sitting down to do this video. Now, the cool thing about this one is this is not necessarily a preview. If you were an RLC member last year, you got a chance to get this one before it was made. Reason being is like, you know, I don't know how many RLC members there are, but everything sells out, which means there will be members each sale that want a particular model and aren't able to get it. That's kind of the name of the game. That's how it's played. But occasionally they'll do a pre-order type of situation and they wanted to do that with this Mustang Cobra R. So before it was complete, after the model was done, they showed off all the renderings and they put it on sale. So anyone who had a membership was able to buy one for per account and based on how many were sold is how many they made. So everyone who wants one, who is a member, was able to get one. If you're a member now and weren't last year, you're gonna have to go secondary market to get it. I have no idea how many were made. You can see why, there's no numbering there. But if you wanna read about it, and this is a heavily detailed model and this will all break that down, you can freeze the screen and read it. But it's here, we're gonna open it up. And like I said, we've already seen it before because while this one was supposed to be the first release of the Cobra, timing is timing. And this one wasn't done before the April convention, and this casting had already been slated to be the dinner model honoring Julian Coyles, and uh, I've given it plenty of attention. I still have this carded version um, from the Charlotte event. It's so cool, but I also have a loose version. So what we're going to do is compare and contrast and celebrate this brand new model. Now, I brought out one. Prior to this Cobra R, I considered this casting, the 1970 Mustang Boss 302, and there's a 69 version as well, as my favorite Mustang casting. I am by no means a Mustang expert, but just in terms of Hot Wheels castings dedicated to the Mustang, and there's a kajillion of them, I always thought that this model that was designed, I believe by Junamai, for vintage racing, and we've seen it in RLC, Super Treasure, and everything since, um, it's, all, it's, it's always been my favorite. I always thought it always had the perfect lines, really sleek, really, really neat car. Well, I feel while that is still an absolute favorite of mine, I think it's been surpassed now by the Cobra R. So here is the model. I've talked enough about it. We're just going to go ahead and open this thing up. No numbers on this one, so I'm not opening something that's super rare, but there's the card. There's the backing. There's the blister. Here is the model. Let's just put it on the turntable, give it a twirl for a minute without opening the hood, everything. This thing is amazing. Five spoke wheels, chrome lipped, Spectra flame red. What do you call this? Cherry red, candy apple? I have no idea. All I know is it is a stunner of a model. Brendan really put the thought into the proportions, the crispness of the lines really making the casting itself, even without the Spectra Flame and all the details, um, a step above everything else. That's how these models should be. And he definitely puts in the time and thought. You can see, like, check out little details in the windows. Like, for example, the treatment of the back window, not the not the back back window, but the um, on the side, the back side window, the rear side window, you can see how it's been darkened in. I don't know if that's a tampo print, but it says Mustang on the side. So you've got the detailing in the windows. You've got all the perfect lines. It's just a beautiful model, one that does not need any extra deco as far as I'm concerned and don't think it does need it. Now it's been around a couple of times on the turntable. We've already got an incredible family of these two. Check these out. I'll put them together once again. I mean, it's not really about the casting or the Castle, but it's already that we have the Spectre Flame Red, which I think red was the standard uh, color for the Cobra. 
But when you're talking about the 93, wasn't this teal color a very rare color of the 93 Mustang as well? So while it may not be a, like, I think it was only one color of that Cobra R, just getting this one in that Mustang teal, which is a very 90s color, and having these two together. We had no idea this was coming together until we saw the convention, and it was released at the convention, and now we've got this incredible duo. I'm going to open up the engine. We've already seen Julian's uh, Mustang. You see the detailing there with the teal colors, and let's see how that was replicated. Sorry, with... Oh yeah, with the Spectre Flame version. I think, think I see the same thing, the Cobra engine, the Cobra detailing, and you have those crossbars all colored in. I mean, it's so detailed that they look like they're real pieces that were actually inserted into the engine. Is that amazing or what? Flat black detailing. It's an incredible casting. It deserves its own video, and that's what it's getting. I just wanted to show this off. You guys tell me what you think. Does this run to the top of your Mustang castings? It does for me. I can't wait for more versions. I hope we get these plain versions. Um, a couple more colors. I think it's reserved for RLC because of the opening uh, hood and everything else, but that's fine. I'll order it every time. I don't care what releases they do, how they do it. I am going to add it to the collection. You guys tell me what you think. Bye.